Hey guys, it's Liv. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another coffee shop series. So this is a series, if you don't know, where I do a drink and food pairing that you might find at a cafe or a bakery. And today we are making something that I actually got inspired for this weekend. So we are going to be making homemade vegan sponge toffee or also called honeycomb. And since it's vegan, we're not using honey. We're actually using maple syrup. So it's actually called maple comb, but we're just gonna call it sponge toffee. So I'm gonna show you how to make that. We're gonna dip some of it in chocolate and then I'm going to actually show you how to make a honeycomb or maple comb latte. And I had this at a coffee shop this weekend. It was my first time ever and it was an ice latte. So it had oat milk, ice and coffee. And then on the top, they put a bunch of chunks of the homemade like sponge toffee. And then as you drank the coffee, the sponge toffee melted down into the coffee and it sweetened it and it made it taste so good. And I can't believe I had never thought of that before. So I ran home and taught myself how to make sponge toffee. And today I'm teaching you. So if that sounds good to you, then keep watching. So let's get into it. So you really only need four ingredients. You need cane sugar or white sugar, maple syrup, baking soda, and water. And then it all happens in a pot. So you just need kind of like a medium to small size pot. You want it to have enough room because it does bubble a bit while it's cooking. So you want it to be like at least this size of a pot, not too big, not too small, just kind of a medium size. And then also before you start, you want to have a parchment lined baking sheet ready to go because it happens kind of quickly and then you have to transfer it to the pan right away. So just make sure that you have that all ready before you start anything with the heat. So all we're gonna do is add all of the ingredients to the pot and then stir it and bring it over to the stove. So you wanna add your sugar to the pot followed by the maple syrup and the water, but don't add the baking soda yet. So you just wanna add all of those, give it a little stir, and um, it won't all dissolve. That's why we're gonna take it over to the heat. So you want to basically have it on medium high heat and stir it just until the sugar is dissolved. And then once the sugar is dissolved, you want to bring it to a boil slash simmer for about seven minutes until it turns a dark amber color. So once that starts happening, you don't wanna stir it anymore. So as you can see, it's starting to boil. I'm gonna turn the heat down just a little bit and then you want to set a timer and let it simmer for about seven minutes. Okay, so take it off the heat, add the baking soda, and you want to stir it until it's just incorporated. And then you want to come over and add it very quickly to your prepared sheet pan. And try not to touch it because then you'll burst the bubbles. So you don't want to flatten it or anything like that. It's okay if it's messy because we're gonna be breaking it up anyway. <laughs> okay, so it only needs to set for about 15 to 20 minutes and you can feel that it's set. You can just touch the top and then you can just break it apart. So you can see all these amazing bubbles. It turns out so well. It only took me a couple times to really get the hang of it and I've made it so many times since then. And my favorite thing to do is actually make a double boiler to melt some chocolate. So I just put some vegan chocolate chips in a bowl and then put that bowl over top of a simmering pot of water and it just melts it really well. And I added a tiny, tiny smidge of coconut oil just to make it nice and glossy. And then I just like to dip some of the pieces in it and drizzle it over others, just kind of do whatever you can get creative. But this is kind of like homemade vegan crunchy bars and crunchy bars were one of my favorite chocolate bars back in the day. So this is so nostalgic, it's so tasty and it's honestly just really fun to make.
I am so excited for you guys to try out this recipe. It came out so amazing. I've had like three of these lattes since the weekend. I'm so obsessed. Even if it's iced, I mean, you can make them hot too, but even if it's iced, which I love for the summer, the sponge toffee does still melt down into the coffee and it sweetens it. So it's kind of like less sweet when you first start drinking it. As it melts more and more, it sweetens the coffee more. So if you like sweet coffee, you're gonna love this. And if you don't, you can just put a little bit on top or you can just like eat the sponge toffee on the side. But I think everyone should try this out. It's such a fun drink. And it's just something that's so different I never thought of before. So I'm really glad I got inspired at the cafe we went to. Oh, it's so good. And it's just like toffee coffee, the best. Obviously the chocolate dipped sponge toffee better than a crunchy bar so easy to make at home and you can just make it with like super simple ingredients and it's vegan so it's perfect mm. literally run to your kitchen run don't walk and make both of these so thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of the coffee shop series. Let me know if there are any special coffee drinks or treats you want me to make in the comments below. And make sure to go check out Greg's new Instagram page at Greg's Vegan Gourmet. I'll put a link to it below as well because he's gonna be using some sponge toffee in a upcoming post. And I know it's gonna be amazing because all of his posts are so good, so make sure you check that out too. As usual, check out my blog for tons of vegan recipes every week, and if you make anything that you saw today, take a photo and tag me on Instagram. I'm at itslivebee. That's everything for me today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.